What happened? Well, I don't know, man. It was just in secondary school that it yeah. just happened. I'm also not sure what happened. I used to be really uh, talkative, but suddenly I just became very quiet. I and this was like why. in secondary one? Uh, maybe, possibly. I have <laughs> I a know. theory. I have a theory. You know, in secondary one, a lot of boys will break their voice from Hello, mom, I'm home to Hi, mom, I'm home. So what happened for you was you broke your voice and you broke your character as well. My voice broke too. It's very low. Dude, you must be very you must be wearing very loose underwear to do that. Okay, let's get to the number, shall we? This is Charles and his number is 19012125. Okay, SMS the number 5 to I D O L S. Voting lines are open, you can vote starting now. Charles, everybody. Up next is May, and here is her mom. Check this out. My husband is a professional singer, and he used to sing at all the pubs here. And I used to force her to go out and sing with her father. I said, you can do it, because one day you're going to be a great singer. And she is now. She loves animals. I love animals. When she was about seven, she brought back a guinea pig. She hid it in my wardrobe. It was at night, I was combing my hair and changing. Suddenly I felt something was like licking my foot. I looked down, I screamed, I jumped a little bit. Ah, what you is that? I kicked the thing, the thing <laughs> went flying, I don't know where it disappeared. So it it lived, it lived guys, don't worry, it lived. I thought of all these other enjoyable songs and all of a sudden she said, you know, what about Somewhere Over the Rainbow and I, yes, that's the one. When she'll be singing the song, I'll be thinking of my late mother. And I know she'll be with us. That was a very beautiful performance. Thank you. That was a very beautiful performance. And I only worry about the low notes. You know, you didn't hit the low notes and they were too low for you. And something you must know by now, you know, if you can't reach the notes, sing around them. Okay. Okay, don't okay. try and be a hero here. But Florence, I think it is a ladies' night tonight for sure. I know. I mean, all Absolutely. the women are doing so well. I, I was going to say that in the past few weeks, there was a, a nervous raw energy about you that you know didn't make you look as comfortable but tonight you were anchored you were steady and you were so sincere in thank your you delivery so keep on this path okay thank you okay may you are getting a little better <laughs> thank you Ken. but i'm expecting a lot more okay um I think the problem right now is I cannot figure out why you are so, the way you feel is so detached when you sing. 
I cannot quite understand why. I think you need to feel more comfortable with yourself on stage. Okay. Right. Thank you for that. Me, everybody. Hey, man. Oh. Right there. Hi, Gamu. So were you comfortable? I was. Oh, I yeah. love that song. That was great. Yeah, yeah. There's one thing I found that we have in common. What? When I was a kid, I used to bring home animals as well. Yeah. I brought home a uh, praying mantis, grasshopper, wow. and a cockroach. Okay. So, what other animals did you hide from your mom? Um, I had, out, a, out I had a turtle in my drawer. A what? A, a turtle. A turtle? Yeah. In and a I, drawer? Yeah. And I think I tried to lure my neighbor's cat in my house, but it didn't work. Now, why are you putting a turtle in a drawer? They need water, right, don't they? Oh, they, it was in a tank in the drawer. It was a tank with water. I took care of it. I it promise. was a tank of water yeah. in your drawer. Yeah, with a turtle inside. With a turtle inside. <laughs> and every morning, hello, turtle, goodbye, good night, yeah. good morning. Feet, 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 and close again. That what, what drawer was that? Was it your socks? It was a drawer full of paper, so it's okay. Okay, so it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No cruelty whatsoever. Okay, now, the number for me is, everybody, take this down, 1-900-112-1206. Or you can SMS the number 6 to I-D-O-L-S. The lines are open. Vote, vote, and vote. May everybody. Thank you. Thank you. We're going for a commercial break. Coming up next, our final contestant, Dwayne. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Singapore Idol, everybody. If you want to uh, listen to your idols on radio, no problem. Just tune in every weekday morning uh, on the Dan and Young Show on 987FM. Simple as that. Up next, our final contestant for the evening, that's Dwayne. He's the youngest of the family. And he's been dreaming of becoming the next Singapore Idol since he was 10 years old. Check this out. When there was American Idol, he said, I wish this would come to Singapore. He said, I want to be in Singapore Idols. I think that was when he was 10. And he says, I can't wait till I turn 16. My biggest struggle was getting to top 13 when I had to sign that contract. I've heard many friends tell me this. We can pick up studies later on. These days, there's so many avenues, there's so many ways to get your education. Just about last year, he suddenly decided to pick up the piano. We were so glad because both of us play the guitar. And so it is our dream for him to play the piano. I've actually picked many songs for him. Any of the people playing piano songs, I, I just like it because I just love the piano and singing. My parents picked Imagine by John Lennon for me to sing. I think it's a very meaningful song, the lyrics, um, because of the message that it's trying to bring across. Oh 